Hello and welcome to Primavera Sound 2022, day two. My name is Paul, this is Mark, we're Shuffle Podcast and we are so tired. <laughs> uh, last night was a big one, wasn't it? Yeah, day one. Um, so we got in like, was it about half two or something in the end? But obviously, we've been doing a lot of walking during the day the festival site was probably bigger than we thought as well <laughs> i think there was a lot of things that we just didn't expect yeah, you so know we uh, rookie mistakes up. yeah um but we had a, a great time yeah. it was such a good day yeah. um first thing i want to get get into was that all of the rumors that were knocking about online of dead long queues and no staff and no water and no all of that kind of stuff we didn't really see no um the only big queues at the bar really were sort of main stage. Which you got like it's main wearing. stage at a festival, yeah. like and you're people, gonna have to queue for a beer. Exactly. And it wasn't it was nowhere near an hour, was it? It was maybe no. I don't know, twenty minutes tops. If that, that's yeah. the, the longest we queued for a beer. And that was like just before Dua Lipa. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. that was the busiest it it was. And yeah. like when we kinda came out at the end of the, end of the night and we kinda looked back on how many people were actually there. Yeah. You know, even the toilets were quite well done, weren't they? Like yeah. um so it seemed really well organised. I mean, obviously, I'm not saying people's claims weren't unfounded because we weren't here. We, we don't no, know. No, no, that's sure. the thing. I think it, I think it did happen last yeah, week, but yeah. maybe the, the festival have put measures in place this this week that mean that that's not going to happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's another lovely day here, and uh, we're on the beach. Yeah, went to the beach. Um, oh, and yeah, really, really loving Barcelona. But um, what would you say your highlights were from the first day? Griff was definitely a highlight. Yeah. Um, she was phenomenal. She she was the first act that we that we watched, wasn't she? Yeah. Um, so we'd got in and we had a bit of a walk to the stage that she was on at because again, rookie mistake. Uh, we didn't realise kind of the the scope of the festival. Really, I thought it was going to be a lot smaller than it is. Um, and yeah, Griff was the first act we saw. She was just brilliant, like such a well-rounded performer. The set was fantastic, really good pace to it and everything. Her band were phenomenal, weren't they? Yeah, um, yeah. 32 of them, but really tight, really pro. Yeah, um, and the, um, the sound was great as well. Yeah. Um, just overall, the whole thing was just really great for me. Yeah, it's um, like the perfect way to, to open our Primavera experience. Yeah, it? like the sun was setting in the background, yeah. you know, everyone had a beer, everyone was having a good time and, you know, Quite like a sort of quiet stage as well, wasn't it? Yeah. At least when we got there. Um, so yeah, it was, it was nice to ease us in. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, what about you? Any? Any? Yeah, I'd say. Obviously, Griff was great, but I'd say Gorillas probably stole the night for me. I'd uh, say that the, the, I'd say Gorillas were the best of the night. Yeah, yeah. Um, it was really good atmosphere. Really good set list. I mean, there was a couple of songs which we wanted, but didn't didn't get played. But that's what you got to expect with Gorillas, really, isn't it? It's that's like what they, they do, isn't yeah, it? Like they, they, they're, they're their own. Yeah, they don't play all the crowd pleasers, do they? It's, no. um, it's what they want to play. That's what they've been doing for years and years yeah. and years, isn't it? You know, so. Um, but they were phenomenal. Their band and like you know, the, the guests that they can kind of the plethora of guests that they can draw on for this kind of festival and. And you know, it was just um, a really special set list from yeah. them. You know, obviously we uh, the song we wanted was Super Fast Jellyfish, uh, which still I sold. Usually rap on 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 the live shows, and it got to a point where we were like, they're not here, and they they, they were. They came. They used came it for out. one song. I mean, yeah. how ballsy is that? Just to fly <laughs> Della Soul around the world for one song. <laughs> it's amazing. I know. What um, a job they've got. It was just. Again, like it, it just like some of the people that obviously couldn't make it because like if they had everyone, it'd just be such a huge touring party. But if they had everyone, that you know, obviously a lot of people that weren't able to be there, and, and those people were kind of on the on the screen on the back, weren't yeah. they? You know, and I was just expecting that really for them. Yeah, I was. Um, next thing they come out and they were they had the the crowd eating out the palm of their hand, yeah. didn't they? They were absolutely phenomenal. Then they launched into Field of Dink. Yeah. And the whole place erupted. Really, it was such a good, like, kind of festival-defining moment. Really, I think there were some great ones. Nineteen two thousand was obviously like a really blast from the past, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, Feel good, as you say. 
Oh, yeah, Sty- Stylo. Stylo was brilliant, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But, um, yeah and then Dua Lipa was, was after them, um, who I was really looking forward to. And, and to be fair, like the performance why she didn't disappoint, setless why she didn't disappoint. And it was nothing to do with her, why I was slightly disappointed. It was mainly the, the sound. A bit um, quiet, wasn't it? Yeah, they seemed to lower the volume. I don't know if it was because it was after midnight, after a certain point, but yeah, it didn't hit as hard as Gorillaz. Yeah, like I'd say we were about the same distance away f- for Gorillaz, mm. and it was like, sound was great. Mm. And then we were on the other stage for, for Dua Lipa, about the same distance away, possibly even closer. Mm. And it was, it was below normal conversation level. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, yeah, it was a bit disappointing, um, and I think by that point I was running on fumes um, to do a leaper, and like there was the ones that like the real big hits I kind of really got into, yeah. but then sort of the the middle of the set sort of B side tracks kind of bored me a little bit. Um, there was just something about that kind of um, that kind of artist and that kind of show that it's so well choreographed. And it's like it's such a first world problem with with this kind of thing. Like them shows are so well choreographed, and so there's so much in gone into the production. They're the same every night. Yeah. They're exactly the same every night. And like, I, like the only thing I could think about the whole thing was like, if I was at a different festival in Portugal or England or Sweden, or this would be exactly the same show. Yeah. It's kind of there was nothing that really gave it that personality a little bit of being at that festival and like like the gorilla show yeah. beforehand it had this really like it had a, f- a feel of like this is going to be different every night yeah. even the set list might be the same but everything down to like, uh, mannerisms and the, like when she like addressed the crowd and when she like everything was so well choreographed mm. that there was just no there was there was none of that like magic if you know what I mean yeah I thought it was they're really good from a performance point of view. Well, this is a uh, thing. Like, it's so well choreographed. Yeah, it's incredible. Yeah. It's just that everything's perfect, isn't yeah. it? You know. And the bands are insane. Right? The, um, the dancers are really good. Obviously, all the sort of confetti cannons and all that. Yeah. That was cool as well. Um, but yeah, it was a bit weird with like the catwalky stage thing, wasn't it? Like sometimes because of where we were, you weren't really sure where they were <laughs> when they only were on stage or yeah. on the catwalk. Um, but yeah, I mean. We enjoyed one kiss anyway. Yeah. Um, and, and like, you know, like levitating and all that yeah, kind yeah. of stuff, you yeah, know, like, as I say, the, the hits that she's got are absolute hits. They will knock anyone's socks off. Yeah. Um, but yeah, for me, it was just like, get into the ones that you really know. Mm. And other than that, it was a bit nice to be there. Yeah. And, and you know what, the, like, you know, I'm trying to be a bit more positive in life. <laughs> Because I know I can be a bit grumpy sometimes with that kind of stuff. So, like one of the nice things was kind of just looking around and seeing how much fun everyone else was having. Yeah. And that that was quite fun for me, to be honest. There was like, there was so many people just having such a great time. That was lovely to watch. Yeah, yeah. What do you think about the uh, the two stage setup? I mean, so if you're not not aware, there's basically one huge stage. We can say there, split into two down the middle. So it's effectively two stages, two main stages right next to each other, and then the acts are sort of. It, it makes it so there's only five minutes basically, or ten minutes in between acts, yeah. isn't it? Which is cool, but at the same time, it's not as easy to view from the other side as you might think, is it? Like you've sort of still got to be on the side of the the app. Yeah. On to, if you wanted to really see that. App. Yeah, I suppose um, it was quite interesting that Damon Albarn from Gorillas had a tough time with it yeah. so he, he he kept going over to the other stage and yeah. he was walking across the other stage yeah, wasn't he yeah, yeah. whether he was allowed to yeah. or not i don't know but like he kept kind of going, going the over there anyway, and like yeah. right down the catwalk that they had set up for dua Lipa and all this kind of stuff and he even mentioned at one point on the microphone like this this two two it's stage setup is a bit weird i'm not convinced you know yeah. so um that was an interesting point of view to get and for, for me personally i think it's like it's great yeah. because it means like that the worst part of a festival mm. they've they've like negated that part yeah yeah especially like if you take a glass and breathe for example i know that's on a ridiculously big scale scale but 
the second stage at Glastonbury is quite away from the main stage. So it's a 45 minute walk yeah, really, isn't it? So if you're trying to you know, go between acts and stuff, uh, it's, it's pretty much impossible. So, I mean, it is great for sort of convenience of just having to, you know, Turn you your can head. stay where you are if you want <laughs> and they have it on every screen basically. So if you're, on the, if you're still on the other stage where the band's not on, they've got it on the screens and they've got it coming out that sound system. So it's quite well done, isn't it? Yeah, and like, I think there's, 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 there's two things where like, as like a punter at the festival, it's nice to just be entertained almost immediately yeah, again. Yeah, yeah, exactly. um, but also I was like, if I was, if I was running this festival, it just gives you like this little extra bit of time. Yeah, yeah. You know, for Dua Lipa, they had two hours to set up. Yeah, it's true that, yeah. Because yeah. gorillas were on, Yeah. you know, so. Um, it's not like a really quick rush to change over. Exactly, you where, where thing, I, you know, I've been to yeah. festivals where things go wrong in that time and, yeah. and sets get cut short. Yeah. You know, I remember any RD at Glastonbury. Yeah. I think they only played for 10 minutes in the end because there was a problem with the setup. Yeah. And it's because they're of a level where, similar to like Gorillaz, Dua Lipa, that kind of level of act where there's so much production that needs to happen and yeah. everything. Yeah, there's so many moving parts, isn't there? And that, that just gave it an, another, you know, we don't see that sort of stuff as punt punters, do yeah. we? But like, I'm sure everyone working backstage is probably happy about that. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Um, and, so uh, we saw West Interpol in that set, didn't we? we yeah. We uh, sort of stayed on the, the opposite side of what they were playing on and just watched it on the screens because we're not massive Interpol fans, but um, it's a good way to sort of watch a band which you're not too interested in. Still see them live. Yeah, and, I mean, I'll say I'm still out. not no, that much yeah. of an Interpol <laughs> fan um, yeah. after having watched them. Yeah. It wasn't really my no. cup of tea, to be honest. It, it was a bit droney. Yeah. Um, which I, and like I kind of completely understand why people do like them. Yeah. Um, but yeah, just not. It's a good amazing. opportunity for us to just chill out and you know charge, recharge our batteries, as it were, for a little bit for the for the two headliners. But uh, yeah. on to tonight anyway. Another big night, isn't it? Uh, it's going to be a long, long yeah, day, yeah. long night tonight. Yeah, we're going to so, try and get a bit more rest before the festival today. Yeah, and um, also like it, it was so mad and fast, and everything was happening yeah. all at once yesterday. We we forgot to eat. Yeah, yeah. So there's like there's yeah. like a little bit of like self care that we need to yeah, sort out thing, today. There's not too many food vendors in there, is it? Like no. for, for a festival. Yeah. Um, uh, but that's fine. Like yeah, you know, there's yeah. bits and bobs that we can do that will manage us through the night a little bit better yeah. today. Um, but yeah, so first act we're going to see tonight is CMAT. CMAT, yeah. Again, like this today's a little bit more of going to see people we've never heard of. Yeah. Um, a little bit more of an opportunity to really um, find some new yeah, acts. Yeah, yeah. I think she's a, an Irish act, and she shares some of the bands with like Declan McKenna. She's right. been she's been a, his support act on his last tour as well. So. I'm interested to see what she's like. I've not really listened to her. Is this the one yeah. that um, someone in the crowd told us to go and watch yesterday? No, no, that oh, was right. like an Irish dance. Oh, all right, okay. Um, um, I must say that everyone at the festival that we've met has been so lovely, haven't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like everyone in the crowd's just there to have a great it's a really time. It's a really good atmosphere. Yeah, people, Everyone's like, kind of yeah. helping each other. There was a few people that got lost lost in the crowd yesterday. Yeah. We helped them out, and you know, it was just um, it does seem like that kind of community collaborative festival really doesn't it yeah definitely um, and um we've got the likes of courtney barnett who um, i'm really excited to see yeah definitely um obviously the, the big one is the strokes for us yeah um, and lord and lord yeah. <coughs> yeah so it's going to be another good night long day um, long night but yeah. it's going to be a really good one i think yeah there's a few a couple after the strokes which i'm not sure you know obviously we'll see how we feel uh, energy wise as well but there's MIA on who I know one song <laughs> yeah, but everyone knows that one song she's on the main stage after the strokes oh, right. um, and then there's this band called Smile who we realised was Tom York basically Radiohead and yeah. Tom York and Johnny Greenwood plus we uh, gave them a listen today and it is essentially Radiohead yeah yeah <laughs> um, so yeah we've, we've got a, a few different options after the strokes but yeah, the strokes is going to be the, the main one of the night, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Um, Finally get to see them. Quietly, a, a really strong day today. Yeah, yeah, it yeah. kind of crept up on me a little bit because I was so obsessed with the first night and then Phoenix are playing the last night. And I was kind of like, my, my mind was on both of them. Yeah. This tonight is actually a really strong night, yeah, isn't it? Definitely. So 
um, it's going to be an interesting day for us and um, we're going to go and eat some tapas I think to, to, to recharge yeah. um, we had some lovely tapas yesterday yeah. and uh, we're going to try and find some more lovely tapas today because <laughs> Barcelona is amazing by the way um, if you've never been go because it's class yeah we um, had such a good time walking around I mean we probably did a few too many steps um, <laughs> near pre-festival but it was worth it. We saw some really cool parts of Barcelona, which you know, we didn't know existed. And yeah. Yeah. Every sort of new area you go into has a different feel to it. Yeah, it? definitely. Like, um, similar to, I guess, London, New York, they've all the big cities. I like that. But yeah, it's, you know, you've got 25 degrees sun here as well. So uh, that just adds to it. So, yeah. Yeah. Uh, to sum up, yesterday was fantastic. I met Phoenix which my head fell off about um, and the festival was was really good and we're just really excited for, for today aren't we yeah yeah um, we'll be back tomorrow with another roundup and um, yeah we'll keep you updated so thanks for watching hit the like hit the subscribe button leave us a comment if you're here leave us a comment and we'll meet up and we'll have a chat and we'll have a beer um, but yeah thanks for watching we'll see you we'll, we'll see you soon